what you're giving, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people. Hey guys, this is us on our way to rain more. As you saw from my previous video, we might be getting another house. So I just wanna look at that sectional that's in my head. Let's see what Raymore Flanagan has. So I thought you guys Hey guys, just me, Kia, and welcome back to another video. I know you guys are like, this girl is always in bed clothes. But I'm sorry, I have a house full of people that I take care of. So at nighttime is my me time, and that's when I do all my recordings. So y'all lucky I don't come on here with a hair scarf on. But as you can see, I showed you guys my ride to Rainmore and Flynn again. It was a very beautiful day today. So I went... If you looked at my last video, I told you guys that I tried looking in there last week, but it was a no-go because they only let you go in by appointment only. So I did make an appointment for today, which is Saturday. Don't know when you'll be watching this video though. So I'm, you know, I want to look for a lounge sofa because we, we should be getting another house soon, I hope. And I want to change out the look of the house. Like I'm still very much stuck into the way my mom the, the type of decorating and design that I grew up around which was very dark wood and all that and stuff it's very nice but I kind of want to get out of that and I want to do a change and not only with the change with the dark wood it could be dark wood but just a different color other than brown like I think I am so over brown brown sofas like I can't even I could never recall myself ever at any point in time having any other color couch but brown whether it be cloth or leather it's always been brown I'm over it and then one thing that this pandemic has shown me is that make your house comfortable for you to be in like that leather couch while I absolutely love it the one thing I'm sorry if you keep shaking I don't you're a little unstable but um unstable on my setup <laughs> that I have you on but um one thing that this has showed me is that make your house super comfortable for living don't get stuff in your house that you don't want people sitting on you don't want people getting comfortable on like i realized like all we do here is be in our rooms because i complain about laying and the lounging on the sofa because i don't want the furniture to get all beat up but now look i'm in the house and i'm like okay like I don't like laying like the kids laying or lounging on the couches but if there's no work or no school to go to and we're just here all day i don't want to be confined to to my room so i mean i've been laying and lounging now but it's just like wow like this being in the house all the time and you know being in the house working from home you're, you're in the house all day so it's like if your office is in your room like mine's is you do want to go downstairs to catch that break but i'm realizing that the more i sit on my couch that i have down there while it's really really nice it's not meant for lounging it's not meant for you know being comfortable you're not trust me you're not gonna fall asleep on it and wake back up like oh girl your couch was so comfortable i fell asleep that won't happen so i'm like my next chapter with this role we're about to take whether even if it's if we decide to just try to make this house work for us, I'm still gonna change around the furniture and the color of things. Everything cannot be brown anymore. So I went to Raymore and Flynn again, and this is the couch that I like. This is the, Wil the Wilkerson Collection. This is the couch that I fell in love with. It was super deep. And yes, this is a lounge couch. Now, all before when I went into the stores, I never noticed any type of lounge couches prior to this. <laughs> but one thing that I've noticed in the store now, and maybe it could be that I just wasn't looking for that type of couch at that point in time. But I am seeing a lot of lounge couches. Like these couches have like are deep where you can like get on there snuggle up watch a movie that's the type of couch i want like i want a couch that's gonna have the kids down there 
everybody's gonna be able to be super comfortable i just don't want my house to feel like you can't be comfortable in it because even now like i know i always complain like i don't want the kids on the couch but i'm like uh, i need somewhere else to go besides my bedroom and backyard and front porch okay couch mm -hmm. you got to go i have to do better but yeah i definitely want this type of couch and and, and these type of cozy couches it might could just be in my head or it could be really that i'm really campaigning hard for my husband to go ahead and be as easy going about me wanting a new couch as i am but i feel like these type of couches bring togetherness like family togetherness like i can't see the kids now just wanting to go downstairs and lounge on that couch i don't know but that's where i'm at with the whole new journey everything is going to be comfort super cozy and especially since i had to move some stuff around i'm like really looking like looking at the things that i have and it's like everything is like so i like i have like an antique type of style so I have a lot of things that I took from my mother's house that I absolutely love that I'm still going to keep and incorporate in my new design. But I have this very, 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 very like antique, uh, you know, don't touch me museum type of taste. I'm going to change that. I'm not going to go farmhouse, but I'm definitely going to change my, my style. I have to first learn the different type of design styles besides oh i like this oh i like that oh that look cute together so i'm gonna definitely do some research to see what type of style that i want to embody for my house have it be this one or another one so yeah also there was a table in rainmore and flanagan a dining set so we all know i lost my dining area when my uh, father-in-law moved in but this table is super duper nice they have it in two colors the one that was in the store was super dark and they have a gray one that they had a picture of i like the gray one so i think my new theme while it's not crazy like it's not gonna it's not like any type of crazy or like out there color like red gray is still a, a, definitely a step in the right direction for me while it's still considered a very very neutral color it's not brown i can't do brown anymore like i am browned out i didn't want to get this headboard because i felt like it was too light so just imagine how the other furniture in my house look okay this headboard i considered uh too dark no i'm sorry i said it wrong too light I consider this headboard too light in contrast with the other furniture. So this was a step out the box for me, this light headboard. And it's, it's not light, but in my head, compared to my dark cherries and all of that stuff that I got, the, the you know, the other woods that I got, this is light. So I want to step completely out the box with what I'm doing in my house. And I'm going to take you guys along the journey too also those gold mirrors that i have behind the couch i know I, I know i told you guys in my last video that i wanted that um what was it the abstract painting if i get the blue but if i don't get the blue and i end up with a gray couch i am going to find a nice silver like antique silver spray paint to spray the outside of those mirrors a different color so let's see those are definitely not going anywhere because those were not cheap so that's where i'm at so i'm going to insert a clip of the um i already told you that sorry guys my camera definitely died on me okay I don't know how my phone die all the time. I record from my iPhone. I don't know how it die all the time. I don't even use it. But anyway, we're back. So I was in the midst of closing that video. So by the end of this, you've already seen the couch that I like. You've already seen the table that I like. And um, the couch that I have downstairs now, 
I'll insert the clip of the couch that I have downstairs now so you can just see. It's still a nice couch. I'll just go to Raymore and Flanagan's website and grab the picture of it and you can see it. It's still a nice couch, but it's not a couch for like a family room to me. That couch is the couch that you have like in a separate room, but the family room is supposed to be like a comfy, cozy couch. Kids could come on and everybody can just hang out on it. That's not that type of couch. And I also don't have a separate room dedicated as a family room. So being that I don't have the space to have a dedicated family room, I need to take the space that I do have and make it more warmer and make it more inviting and comfortable for myself and the kids. So it only took me X amount of years. We're not going to even go into that X amount of years to realize this. But this being in the house thing has really shown me that being in the house, you want your house to be super comfortable. So that's one thing that I'm going to be looking at over the next couple months is finding ways to make this house more comfortable. We're, we've been locked in. So I'm pretty sure you guys looking at this video now have all been locked in your house and have also been looking around like oh i need to change this oh i need to fix this or you know i don't like that our normal day-to-day -day lives we get up we go to work we come home we cook we clean it we clean we, we cook we clean the kitchen we wash shower find work clothes get in the bed and get ready for the next day it's really not much time to sit around and lounge it's the same thing with the kids they get up they go to school they come home they're doing homework maybe sometimes late they shower they get in bed they do the same thing the next day but now taking out all of that commuting and being home has really shown me that even when I'm back at it going back to work you know nine to five I want to still come home and have that warm comfy environment like for me my bedroom was always my thing like I come home if my husband had to make the bed i make the bed and i'll lay down and i relax then but now i think that i've had a chance to really chance to use my house because let's be real we work it seemed like from sun up to sundown so when do you really have a time when do you really have time to enjoy your house a time to use the things that you have right all i ever cared about was it looking nice but guess what? Now that I'm here, I'm like, you know something? If something like this was to happen again, or I would need to work from home again, I want to be super comfortable. And I don't feel like my house is super comfortable and it doesn't feel warm. I don't know. Maybe you guys have that super comfortable house that I want. Kudos to you. I don't. Also, I want you guys to subscribe to my channel. So if you're looking at this, please subscribe. Please comment. Let me know if you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. A thumb, thumbs down if you didn't like the video. And I'll work on my future content. But um, definitely subscribe to my channel because once I do get a thousand subscribers, I will be giving. I will be doing a giveaway. I'm not sure what it is that I'm going to give away yet, but I will announce that in a lady, later video. But please, please, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and you might be the lucky winner. Have a good day, guys. Later.